there's really no issue that's been hotter, more interesting, or in some ways less well understood than criminal justice reform. We're here today to better understand why conservatives and liberals have found um, uh, space to, uh, to agree, at least up till now, on some measures in criminal justice reform, but also to take a look at, um, at whether or not uh, that agreement is going to stick as we go forward. What makes the coalition even stronger is that uh, we do believe it to be a transpartisan one. And what we mean by that is that both sides have uh, come to this place uh, reasoning from their own ideological first principles. Uh, so this is not a, a trend that's being uh, driven by a moderate center that's looking for compromise. This is a different kind of story about true believers on each side reaching similar conclusions. Legitimacy, uh, you know, the sense that we have faith in the system and what have you, is a resource. It is a resource that can be cultivated, that can grow, that can flourish. Uh, it's also a resource that can wither. Uh, and I think that when we're thinking about policing and we're thinking about sentencing and what have you, you've got to think about it in that context. How are we actually deploying the scarce resource and are we actually kind of growing it or are we not? We decided to, to be smart about it and to prioritize passing those laws and to prioritize um, identifying messengers, the right messengers that would speak to what we saw as uh, a predominantly Republican uh, legislature. It's been a story of a lot more behind-the-scenes cooperation uh, than um, I think a lot of folks know. It's sort of like the best-kept secret in town on um, sort of how much agreement there is on, on these things. And now we're seeing it sort of converge into what, what change is possible for the federal system, and it's really building on the stories and those relationships and partnerships and successes um, that we've seen, I think, in Second Chance and JRI. I am hopeful that that this is going to be um, an inspiration to other groups that are working on um, meaningful reforms to benefit all, all facets of society um, and to separate their biases, their assumptions, their, uh, to remove their, their, um, their own internal barriers that they place on themselves and to begin genuinely working in collaboration with with other, uh, with other unlikely allies.